Apple events, Apple events. Isn't it interesting that the company with the least amount of products does more events than others? Because yes, uh, we have uh, invitations for the next WWDC, but uh, what are we really getting this year? We get more details on certain upgrades we can expect for the next Galaxy Fold series, and uh, Sammy reportedly wants to make some, I don't know, exclusive chips for their upcoming galaxies, uh, sort of. I'm Jaime Rivera, and seriously, if you do the math, why is it that Apple has more events than others, even if they have less lineups? This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today are coming, but for now, let's talk about Cupertino for the first time today. We have a new report from ming -Chi Kuo where he's claiming something interesting. Apparently, AirPods 3 are part of a failed product segmentation strategy for Apple, as uh, demand for them is allegedly much weaker than it is for AirPods 2, and they've been forced to cut orders from suppliers by over 30% for the second and third quarter of this year. Apparently, Apple may also discontinue AirPods Pro as they launch the second generation probably later this year in order to avoid repeating the same mistake. Just for some context, the AirPods 2 have remained on sale with the third generation in the market being, uh, I don't know, $50 cheaper. And with the pros uh, getting constant discounts on stores like Amazon, the AirPods 3 are in this weird middle ground for their price. Let us know what you guys think of this or what cost this in the comments as of, if you watch my review, I kind of called it out. I mean, AirPods 3, in my opinion, were offering too little for too much of a price tag uh, when compared to even their own AirPods Pro. Moving on to official news, let's talk about Samsung and their chips for upcoming galaxies, and I'm actually not talking about the Exynos this time. TM Rowe recently said in a town hall meeting that the company is working to make a new application processor that would be unique to Galaxy smartphones. Uh, this was interesting, apparently a response to an employee who asked how the throttling controversy would be resolved. But there's little to no context other than that statement, which could also mean that they don't really like their own Exynos chips. Anyways, the reason why this is news is because if you think about it, sure, Sammy makes Exynos chips, but they're not exclusive to their own devices. This means that the company would be working on something entirely different that would be more comparable to Google's Tensor chip, which is actually made by Samsung Architecture, or Apple's A lineup, which is made by TSMC. And just to speculate a little, I really hope they deliver something more powerful to address the whole controversy instead of just giving us a rebranded Exynos chip in here because, I mean, I don't think anyone would like to see that. I mean, it, I wish that Exynos chips would have a better reputation, but sadly that hasn't been the case. I mean, would you guys like to see an exclusive chip for future galaxies? And since we already began, let's stick to Sammy, but talk about their upcoming foldables as rumors are getting kind of interesting. I mean, yesterday we talked about how the Fold 4 could bring a new hinge, but it looks like we might be getting more upgrades than we thought. We have a new report from Galaxy Club claiming that we can expect some upgrades to the camera setup as well. Apparently they're planning to use a 10 megapixel 3X telephoto camera for the Fold, which would be the same sensor that's uh, being used currently on the Galaxy S22 series. The selfie shooter would also be the same 10 megapixel module that we currently see on the Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus. At the moment, uh, we have no word on the primary or ultra wide camera, but going by the track record, I mean, we could be getting the 50 megapixel GN5 sensor for the primary and the same 12 megapixel F2.2 ultra wide we got last year. And listen, even if the hardware for the other two sensors were to remain the same from the previous models, we can still expect some software upgrades as this seems to be a refinement year for foldables. Let's see how rumors evolve, and I'm also curious to see what changes are coming to the flip, because honestly, that's the one I'm more excited for, and where all I need is an S Pen. And finally, for the hottest news today, let's talk about Apple and their next event. I mean, yesterday we filmed the show, and then about a couple of minutes later, we got the official press invitations for WWDC, which will be held on June 6th to 10th in an online format, of course. The invitation this year has the company's Swift logo retooled, as they'll be also holding a Swift student challenge, where students will be able to showcase their passions for coding by creating an app project on a topic of their choice 
with some prices for the winners. At this WWDC, we're expecting to get the announcement for iOS 16, the new Mac OS, and the updates for the rest of the ecosystem, iPad OS, Watch OS, etc. As for the hardware, most of the leaks have been claiming we won't be getting any products as they're slated for either later this year or 2023. That said, just like the one from pretty much two years ago, it would make sense for us to get the M2 family announcement in order for developers to make their necessary preparations for a launch of products that will be happening in the fall. With people already retiring their Mac Pros for the Mac Studio, it might just be that we could also be getting the new Mac Pro that was teased at the earlier event. Anyways, in whatever case, let us know in today's question. I mean, what would you like to see at WWDC? Because honestly, I just want two things. The first is, I mean, if we're getting iPads running on M1, can we get M1 Pro apps like Final Cut Pro running on that? And second, I would really like the Apple Watch to finally become a true fitness computer, not just a mimic of your iPhone on your wrist. That's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me debate whatever when it comes to Apple. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.